Hey, Pablo, what did you think about that pasta recipe? Uh, it looks it looks fire, but I mean, like, uh, what about the garlic bread? Let's get to it. When I was a little girl, I used to volunteer to make the garlic bread when my mom was busy making the rest of the dinner. It was a small island of autonomy amidst all the rest of the activity in the kitchen. And I used to love to do it. I just, I just enjoyed it so much because after I had done it a few times, my mom realized that I could do it on my own and nobody was up in my face and in my business telling me what to do. And it got to the point where I was like, hey, hold my Kool-Aid, I got this. And this is my mom's method of making garlic bread where she slices it only part way through the bread and then wraps it in foil. But when I was growing up, we didn't have it with artichoke hearts. That came much later. When I was in college, I had a very good friend named Anastasia and we would often take the train into Chicago to visit her boyfriend and we would cook there because when we were living in the dorms, we didn't have access to a kitchen and we couldn't cook. So we would cook a big giant meal when we were at her boyfriend Brent's house and invite all his friends over for dinner. And one time we were making the garlic bread and there happened to be a jar of oil-packed marinated artichoke hearts on the counter. And I'm looking at the artichoke hearts, I'm looking at the bread, I'm looking at Anastasia. Anastasia's looking at the artichoke hearts, she's looking at the bread, she's looking at me. And we say, yeah, let's do it. We're, we're giving this a try. So thus the artichoke heart garlic bread was born. And there was one young lady at the dinner who was just so confused confused. She she just asked us over and over again, how did you know? How did you know? And we're like, how did, how did we know what? She's like, how did you know it would be so good? And Anastasia and I were looking at each other and we're like, uh, well, you, you know, we like garlic bread and we like artichoke hearts. And we figured the two would go really well together. Yeah, but whenever I try that, it never works out. I'm like, well, I, I guess we just knew. We just knew this time it would work out. Anyway, it's one of my favorite things to make when I'm making um, dinner for guests now. And I hope that you will also make it part of your cooking repertoire. And here we go. Mangiamo. Let's eat. It's artichoke heart garlic bread. So, Pablo, we've made the pasta puttanesca and we've made the garlic bread. How about a salad next? Salad? Arugula salad with some Parmesan and walnuts. What do you think? That sounds awesome. Even better. Okay, let's do that in the next video.